As a trainer with Working Partners, my role involves a lot of driving and face-to-face -face interaction with our clients. My ability to perform these functions became compromised recently when I suffered an extensive injury on the softball field. My first ever major injury, by the way. Now I'll spare you the details and the x-ray and just tell you that there was a surgery and I now have multiple metal plates in my left forearm. Now in response to this, I was sent home from the hospital with a decent amount of pain medication to assist in my recovery. Now I'm a trainer uh, and so I'm in this all the time, but even I had to remind myself about the policy expectations of me in relationship to my medication use. And I have three things to share from that experience. One, how important it is to know my expectations when it comes to reporting medication to my employer. Now, even though the, incur the injury occurred in my own time, I had a responsibility to report my employer that I was on a medication that could be causing adverse effects at work uh, because it could impact my ability to safely do certain tasks with my job, like driving. But how did I need to do that in the first place? Well, because my drug-free workplace policy gave me very clear guidelines about that responsibility when it comes to medication and notification to my employer. Two, I need to be an advocate for my own health and remember responsible medication practices. Because I was getting three different medications, it was incumbent on me to read the patient information, the prescription information, ask questions of the medical practitioners, and follow the guidelines for use of those three medications. And three, safe storage and disposal of the medication. I had a lot of family and friends, including children, in and out of my home during the days following my surgery. I needed to prioritize safe storage of those medications to limit access to those medications within my home, especially for those children. And then I needed to properly dispose of the unused meds once I no longer needed them. Now, I train this information, so I know it. But do all your employees know it? Do they know what to do when it comes to safe storage and disposal of medication? There are easy steps for disposal and minimizing your risk and employees' risks for abuse of medication in the future. Check out the Generation RX link below for free resources about safe storage, disposal, and other medication practices, and consider sharing that information with your employees to take home as well. Now, while it feels kind of cool being the bionic man, I've gotten a fair amount of attention. The situation could have been a lot worse afterwards if I hadn't known how to have that conversation with my employer and knew what to do with the meds once I didn't need them anymore. Make sure your policy is very clear, has the necessary guidelines, and that your employees know how to protect themselves and protect your workplace in these types of situations. And if you want to see cool pictures of my broken arm, call Working Partners and schedule an on-site with me as soon as possible. Thanks.